was talking with a few of my friends, and we decided the scarf needs a stand name, because it's totally a stand. I decided on the name Laughing Collar. I don't know. It had to be a song lyric, so that's about the best thing I could come up with. Yeah, I'm a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure nerd, whatever. <laughs> But yeah, I like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I have the PS1 fighting game, and it's pretty good. It stays very true to uh, the characters in the manga, so... Ah. Yeah, so the big thing about Face Off is, um... She's got the fish whip. And what she does with the fish whip is she grabs items, and she chucks them at you. Which can hurt. So you want to avoid that. Her weak point is you basically just stretch that thing out, and... It does that, and now she, uh, totally cubes it. Ew. I don't even know if that's the right definition. I don't know! There's so many slang terms for Barfy, I don't even know. But yeah, that'll take her health down quite a bit. She can be a... very bad boss to be fighting if you don't know how to fight her. Ah, crap. Yeah, there's a certain way that you actually have to... Oh, I hate these. There's a certain way that you have to... Yeah, dodged it. Okay, good. A certain way that you have to stretch her fish whip, otherwise you won't get the damage from it. And, I don't know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's weird. The thing about those golden balls, if you couldn't tell... Um, they shoot fire, and fire isn't good for you. You want to avoid that one. At all costs. Really, aside from that, it's, um, it's a pretty simple battle. You know, as long as you know what you're doing. There shall be no problem with Samantha. Samantha! I will stretch your face and make it distorted and evil. Yes. That, that should do it. Did that do it? That did. Take that, Samantha! Yes, funky, groovy. Oh, that's my favorite boss. And that'll probably be a good Halloween special if I uh, get these uploaded by that time. That would be really cool to do, actually. For such a lighthearted game, that's actually a pretty creepy boss, and there's an instant death thing that happens. I've really got to show it off. Uh, so this is the... I don't really know what to call it. It's one of the EX areas. It's more of a uh, tower, dark tower area. I'm reading that series right now. I just finished the first book. It's really good. <laughs> Completely off topic, but... Yeah, she does this um, crazy belly flop or chest flop. I don't know what do you want to call it. Yeah. This is probably the toughest EX world level. Because you have to do some platforming. It can be a little bit tricky if you don't do it right. Ah. Sit still. These are the toughest of the Bonita Zakos. The fact that they actually attack you and all that. 
stretch your hair out and then I will kill you with it. So that's that. This tune right here kind of reminds me of uh, that LSD game for the PS1. I made a few videos of, of it like a month ago, maybe two months. But yeah, that's how you want to do the platforming. You need to grab onto the lamp, back up, and all that. Yeah, this, this soundtrack reminds me of the LSD song, just in general. Because that had some wacky music on it, in that game. Actually, an audio CD on it, too, so... Definitely an interesting series. They released a book, a video game, and a music CD. They need to do that kind of thing more. Make experimental stuff and release all kinds of cool stuff for it. Anyway, it's really just more of the same. Also, if you fall off the cliff, which is not hard to do at all in this level, you start all the way at the beginning, I believe. So, you don't want to do that. If it can be at all avoided. Ah, sorry! Didn't mean to do that! Ah, crap. Sit still! Eh, there. I will steal my points from your head. Ah, crap. Eh, well, <laughs> I almost just jumped off the edge there. Instead, I flung myself off the edge. You know, same effect. Either way works. Come on. What's that? My scarf just phased through a lamp. It's got a wacky soundtrack. Go treasure for wacky soundtracks. That was kind of a close one right there. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Get points. Kill boss. Wacky, wacky, wacky. You know, I don't really have much to say. If there's some dead space in here, please forgive me. Don't want to commentate if there's nothing I have to say, you know. Don't want to feel forced. Oh, God. You know, there, there's a limit of things that you should do and things that you shouldn't do. Oh, God. Uh, nightmares. There are the things of dreams and sometimes nightmares. <laughs> I think it would be quicker if we just fell off the edge right here. Woohoo! Yep. I saved us time. Also, you got these, um, these little badges on your hat. They actually have a name. They're of the sun and the moon, and they actually have a name, but I don't remember what it is. It's, they have similar names. You know what? You can stop watching the video now, but I'm going to look this up right here, and we will see what the name is. It shouldn't take me more than, like, a minute. Where are you? Where are you? Are you there? Could you be there? Okay. Um, Linda is also very fond of her tomato monster cap, on which she has pinned her two favorite badges, Heckle the Sun and Jekyll the Crescent Moon. Yeah. That's it. I'm done. Um, next episode, we will fight Demonica. And possibly Cyan, I think her name is. But yeah, I'll see you then.